aspirants please subscribe to my channel to get all the dictations of the latest judgments of high courts and supreme court 5 seconds from now the appeal was dismissed by the learned additional sessions judge southeast saket courts new delhi wide order dated 25th march 2012 Thereafter, the appellants, after expiry of three weeks, filed second application under Section 438 CRPC, which came to be considered by the learned additional sessions judge to South East New Delhi, who allowed the same by the impugn order dated 10th March 2012. The aforesaid order was assailed before the High Court on two grounds. First, the accused persons had misrepresented the facts and that there was no change in the circumstances and second, the application for grant of anticipatory bail could not have been entertained by the learned additional sessions judge for for the first application was rejected by the learned additional sessions judge 6 southeast saket the high court referred to certain decisions with regard to the parameters for grant of anticipatory bail absence of change of circumstances conduct of the accused persons in the manner in which they had executed the agreement for sale the need for custodial interrogation and the impropriety in view of the fact that another court had entertained the application for consideration despite the fact that the first application was earlier rejected by another court and analyzing these aspects set aside the order for grant of bail it is necessary to state here that the high court has drawn a distinction between an order passed which is perverse in nature inviting the wrath of impropriety and a cancelling order of bail due to supervising circumstances after the grant of bail we have heard the learned senior counsel for the appellants learned asg for the state of and city of delhi and the learned counsel for the informant the second respondent on a perusal of the order passed by the high court we find that it has felt disturbed that the second application under section 438 crpc was allowed by another additional sessions judge who had not dealt with the first application it has opined that the second judge could not have entertained the bail application especially when the earlier judge was available to elaborate the additional sessions judge who has dealt with the matter on the first occasion had neither been transferred from the said court nor had he become incapacitated to come to court stop